Okay, in this video I'd like to show you how to find out what the annihilation operator is for our 1D quantum linear harmonic oscillator. So in a previous video I showed you how to get the creation operator and it wasn't it wasn't a hand waving argument, but it was um yeah, it was I suppose it was quite it was quite clever. So I'm going to use a different argument here to get our annihilation operator. So we know that the dimensionless Schrodinger equation can be written in one of two ways. And one of those two ways, or excuse me, in two ways. And one of those two ways is the following. Okay? Where un is just any wave function, any one of the wave functions. But we also know the following. We know that epsilon is equal to e over h bar omega. And we found out in the past that you that the smallest um, the smallest energy was h bar omega over two, and I told you I didn't really prove it to you, but that the actual steps thereafter are in, in steps of h bar omega. <coughs> so that means the energy of any of the nth level is equal to n plus a half times h bar omega. All right, that should make sense to you because if we're adding if our initial our, our base level is half h bar omega, and we keep adding one h bar omega, then we get n plus a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub this uh, n plus a half in for my epsilon here. All right, and I'm going to get something as well. So I'm going to show you what we get there. So like I said, this is just, it's, I suppose it's a small bit of a sleight of hand. It's, it's, it's clever trickery really is what it is. So if you n, and we have, this just turns out to be 2n plus 2 times un. All right. But in a previous video, when I, in my video for the creation operator, I showed you that 1 over root 2 times y minus d dy is equal to a plus or a dagger, depending on what you want to call it. And that's going to be equal to um, root n plus 1 times un plus 1. All right. So let's plug that in and see what happens. So that means uh, we have, just let me think for a second, if we pull this, th there's a 2 here, if I pull that 2 across, I'm not going to have 1 over 2, and that's going to be equal to 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 2. So I'm going to use that fact. Basically, I'm going to put one of those root 2's in front of this, and one of those root 2's in front of this. Alright? Because if I put one of those root 2's in front of here, we're going to have my creation operator. Okay, so we have 1 over root 2, y plus d dy, 1 over root 2, y minus cdy, times, or un, is equal to uh, n plus 1, yes, n plus 1 times un. But this here, we know, is our creation operator, a plus. All right? So what does a plus do? Well, a plus makes, it, it, it becomes, in, it, because we're act acting on un, it's going to get root n plus 1, un plus 1. Okay? So now what we can write is, we have 1 over root 2, y plus d dy, times root n plus 1, times un plus 1, is equal to n plus 1 times un. Alright, n plus 1 times un. So what happens if I divide across by this here? I'm going to have 1 over root 2, y plus d dy, times un plus 1, is equal to root n plus 1, un. Alright, now let me see if there's an or we can write this in a better way. We can write it in a way that just makes it more clear. So we can have 1 over the square root 2 times y plus d dy times un is equal to root n times uh, un minus 1 un minus 1, which is the same as what we had up here. It's just a different way of writing it. It's a way of writing it so that you will say the cre or the annihilation aspect becomes quite apparent. And I'll call this a minus. Okay, and this is our create, or excuse me, this is our annihilation operator. All right, I'm going to talk a small bit more about actually applying those in another video. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.